What is up? How are you today? Steve here and in this video we're going to be talking about supplements. So let's get into it. Just before we get started, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button now for all the latest fitness and lifestyle content. And if you're not new here, this is of course Food Friday. Supplements make up a huge part of bodybuilders' diets. And there's so much confusion around which ones you should be taking, which ones are good, which ones are bad, which ones actually work. So in this video, I'm going to go through which ones I take and why I take them. It's most important to know why you should be taking them. If you're just taking supplements for the sake of taking supplements, then you're not doing it right. Before I start telling you which supplements to take, bear in mind I am not a doctor, I am not a nutritionist, I... I'm just letting you know what works for me, what I think works, and what could work for you. If you want an in-depth look into what all these supplements do, I'd recommend going checking out people like Jeff Nippard or anyone else who's really backed by science, knows what they're talking about in terms of the actual chemistry of these supplements. I just want to tell you what I think works and what I use. Now that I have covered my ass, let's get into it. Obviously the first thing I take, just like every other fitness YouTuber or anyone who's trying to get in shape, is whey protein. I'm going to take a more in-depth look at whey protein later on in this video, so we're just going to park it for now. Every single morning I have one scoop of this amazing grass green food supplement. Now, it's awful. It tastes exactly how it looks, like a, a potted plant in a blender, but for my diet I know I don't eat enough vegetables, so it's just an insurance policy. So every morning I'll chuck a scoop of this in some water and have that with my breakfast so that even if I don't get enough vegetables during the day, I'll be covered. I obviously do try to get as much vegetables into my diet as possible, but some days I just don't hit my target. And once I've taken this, it's okay. One thing I'll say about all supplements, including this one, is they are supplements. They're supplementary to your diet. So you don't need them, but they help. Now you should be aiming to get your vitamins, minerals, micronutrients from your diet and then turn to these things just as a backup. Like I've done, not getting enough veg, this is going to help. As I improve my veg intake, I may stop taking this, but for now, it's just helping. I will link all of these supplements in the description. I'm not sponsored by anyone, I'm not getting paid for saying any of this, so it's just my opinion. Another supplement I take that I recommend all of you take is a daily multivitamin. Now I have a my protein multivitamin here. It doesn't have to be this one. It's literally just a multivitamin. Multivitamins are good for your overall health. They're not like you take these and you feel like this. Like all other supplements, they are just something to add into your diet to help hit your micronutrient, vitamin and mineral targets over the week. Now, because I live in Ireland where it's usually not sunny, now it is hot as hell this week for some reason, but it's usually raining. Because it rains so much here in Ireland, most people have a bit of a deficiency in vitamin D3. So I use D3 supplements. If I lived in a hotter country where I got more sun, I probably wouldn't use them. You ever go to Spain and like you're surrounded by all these attractive tanned people who seem to be like the best health and super fit? They're getting an abundance of D3 from the sun. If you're in a super sunny country, it's really good for you. It's like a plant getting sunlight. It's just so good. So that's why I just have some of this D3 every morning as part of my supplement stack. One thing I found out from watching YouTube videos and researching is that you should be having one to two servings of fatty fish every week as part of your diet. Now, I don't really eat fish, like not a lot. I have fish sometimes. I wouldn't say no to like a cod and chips back in the day, but I don't eat a lot of fish. So as a result, I've turned to omega-3, 6, and 9 oils, just again, because I know I'm not getting enough of my diet. It's just like the green superfood supplement, it's an insurance policy. For the weeks that I don't hit my targets, and when I need to get essential fish oils in, I just have one of these every morning. It just rounds off the stack nicely. Now, before we get on to whey protein, let's just talk about one supplement I take every day that's not necessary for everybody, but is definitely necessary for me and maybe some of you guys. Every morning, as part of my supplement stack, I take lactate fasac. Now, I am lactose intolerant, meaning I'm allergic to milk, which sucked kind of growing up, but it's something you get used to. 
With these tablets, they just provide the enzyme that I don't produce naturally and that some of you might be lacking. So it allows me to have things like milk and chocolate and anything else I want to add to my diet, cheese, like it just opens up the normal channels for diets that most people can have anyway. I find if I don't take one of these every day, I get kind of cold and flu symptoms, I get all blocked up. I'm sure any of you who are lactose intolerant out there know exactly what I'm talking about. I found those in America. I'm not sure if they're making them in Ireland. I'll link it down in the description, obviously, but these are called Lactaid. Take one of those every day and you'll be good to go with having small amounts of milk here and there, like in protein bars or in cheese. As I said, everybody should be taking whey protein. The problem with whey protein is that there's kind of a bro science mentality around it, that kids who start off in the gym buy a big, massive tub of protein, no idea what to do with it, throw 14 scoops of it into a shaker and bring it to the gym with them just to look like they're taking protein. There's a lot of misconceptions that I'm gonna address really quickly here in like, as fast as possible. Protein doesn't give you muscles. You don't need to take a protein shake just after the gym. If you don't know what your protein macro is, you should not be taking whey protein. If you are just taking protein because your friend said so, or because you see other people do it at the gym, don't take protein. I've seen kids in the gym who are drinking a massive protein shake and I say, why Why are you drinking that? What, what do you think? And they're like, oh, I'm trying to gain muscle. I'm trying to... Protein supplements don't make you gain muscle. You don't just start taking this and get huge. It's It doesn't work like that. That's steroids. You're thinking of the wrong thing. Taking protein without knowing why you're taking it is like buying a parachute without knowing how to skydive. It's like you bought the equipment and you're like, yeah, I skydive now. You have to know why you're taking protein. It's all about your protein macronutrient. So once you've established your calorie target and start setting your macros, I have videos on both those things. If you've no idea what I'm talking about, check them out. But when you're setting your macro target for protein, you want to be hitting at least one gram per pound of body weight every day. Now I currently weigh about 145, 146 pounds. It's the lightest I've ever been. I'm still aiming to hit 145 to 150 grams of protein every single day. Some days I'll go more than that. I'll always aim higher than what I need rather than not hitting the target. You attempt to hit your target with normal food, the same way you would if you were trying to get your greens or your fish target or anything like that. You try and get the target with normal food. So eating things like turkey, chicken, eggs, anything that's high in protein. So I might be able to get about 120 grams of my target, 130 grams of my target from my normal diet. And that's when I turn to things like whey protein. That I get that extra 20 grams of protein for the day to hit the target by taking a scoop of that supplement. I've seen very rarely out there of people having kidney issues from taking protein. And that seems to be the thing that parents kind of latch onto when they see their kids taking protein. They're like, that's gonna damage your kidneys. But there has been cases where people have run into kidney trouble with taking protein. Now that's when they're literally like taking 14 scoops of it in one go every day for a month. They're gonna clog up their system. If you are taking protein, you should be drinking a lot of water to help process it. I try and aim for between two and a half to four liters a day to wash out the protein properly. And that's just a guideline you should follow. So as some quick bonus information, what type of protein should you get? Whey protein is whey protein, regardless of where you get it. It's like water. You can pay more for some water, or you can pay less for water, or you can drink out of the tap, it's still water. Whey protein is kind of like that. I use Optimum Nutrition Whey for mixing in with my breakfast in the morning, and I use my protein whey because they have better flavors. So if you just want a simple protein like this Optimum Nutrition Whey vanilla, to just chuck into your oats in the morning or chuck into your Weetabix, mix is great. If you want to make protein pancakes, my protein, just have nice flavors. This is salted caramel, which is pretty much everyone's favorite. They do things like Rocky Road and all that. They just have a better range of flavors. So take whichever one you want. As long as it says whey protein on the front of it, it's gonna be whey protein. Again, I'm not sponsored by anyone. My protein, if you're watching this, I'd like to be sponsored by someone, uh, but until that fateful day, I just keep buying my own supplements from wherever I can get them cheapest and the ones that I know work. As a recap, I take green superfood from a crowd called Amazing Grass. I know Ghost supplements do greens, but 
I can get these from a local filling station that is a supplement store as well, so it's just much easier to get them. I take them because I don't get enough vegetables in my diet, and I know I don't. I'm working on it, but until then, disgusting green juice in the mornings. Multivitamins, I get mine from my protein, get them from wherever you want. It's just all your daily vitamins in one dose, take one every morning, cover yourself. That's, it's an insurance policy, same as the greens. Vitamin D3, I live in Ireland, it's not sunny, I want more sun, maybe I'll move to Spain someday, who knows, that's the dream. But until then, vitamin D3, it's just, again, an insurance policy, supplementary to my diet. I don't eat enough fatty fish during the week, so I take one of these every morning, again, just to cover myself. All these things are supplements, supplementary to your diet. I might have one serving of fatty fish during the week. If I don't have two, this covers me. Not necessary for all of you, but necessary for me. Lactaid every morning helps me eat things like protein bars and cheese and all that lactose-filled goodness that I otherwise wouldn't be able to eat. Last up, whey protein. Know your protein macro. If you don't know your protein macro, you're wasting your time taking this. I don't know how many times I can say it to people starting out. You need to know your macro targets, hit them using your diet, and then supplement with whey protein. If you got value from this video, guys, please, please, please subscribe and like the video. I'm just starting out on YouTube and I'm trying to make a go of it. So the more support I get from you guys, the better this will be for all of us. I'd be looked down on by the fitness industry if I didn't mention creatine. Now, I currently don't take creatine, but it's because I'm not in the gym. I'm not lifting heavy weights. I'm not getting adequate resistance training as such other than my at-home bodyweight workout. So I want to start taking creatine when the gyms open up again. It's just like the next chapter of my fitness journey. So as soon as the gyms open up, I will of course start taking creatine. If you want to know more about creatine, again, I'll reference Jeff Nippert or anyone in the industry who has a good scientific background in what they're talking about. But yes, creatine, absolutely go for it if you're looking for something to help boost your weight training and weight gain. As I said, I'm not a doctor or a dietitian or a nutritionalist or anything like that. These are what I take every single morning during this particular cutting phase. I may stop taking some as I need them less or I may start taking more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.